All right, guys. That round ball is the absolutely spectacularly gorgeous full moon. Out here on the Wednesday night, November 17th, 2021. What not. So, uh, I have now enjoyed an edible and am on my second margarita. I am out here on this dock that uh, Lulu made me build last year. You know, that's one of the many fights we had. I have to say, I have to give Lulu some credit that uh, she assured me this dock would be worth the $1,200 of my money she spent to build it. And uh, I have to say, Lulu was right. So sitting out here on this dock on this beautiful even November evening in Florida with the crickets chirping and the few dogs barking, but mostly crickets. Hear fish jumping out in the lake and whatnot and uh you know, this is the first time that it's I will certainly, I would, I would never get so maudlin as to say uh, that I have any any sorrow for uh, for Lulu, but uh, you know, I'm just I'm just thinking about here about her out here all by herself out here in the swamp after her first the hip camp was shut down and then her children were taken away and then they started foreclosing on her house and just the world closing in on her. Just thinking about that woman. Just out here by herself at the end of the road in the Point Lonesome Swamp. Now, of course, she had uh, a working cell phone, a working internet, and whatnot, so she at least had contact with the outside world, unlike me, where I have no contact with the outside world from here, uh, which is why I'm talking to my imaginary friends, but, you know, just thinking of, she used to tell me how healing this property was that she uh, commented you know when she just got too fucking crazy with all of her various mental uh, disorders how healing that my property was and how she would come out here to uh, you know to depressurize from all of the Bullshit, most of which she brought on herself. Uh, I mean, she would take the drama that every one of us deal with and dial it up to 10. Uh, but I know what she was saying that, you know, at the end of some one of her many never ending fucking dramas with men or with her kids or with the law or the doctors or whatever the fuck it was uh, how she would come out here and hang out on my property uh, by herself to depressurize and uh, how it healed her <sighs> and I'm just thinking now of course like, I've got one mosquito on me tonight. Now, of course, in the summer, I'm not sure how healing it is with 500 mosquitoes sucking your blood. But, you know, she had the screened-in kitchen last summer. And uh, I'm just sitting out here. I have no mosquito repellent on, no screen, no mosquito repellent. And I have one mosquito out here in the Point Lonesome Swamp. But, uh... You know, in the night she in the night she did it, or the night before, you know, she had her friends, she had people over, 
she had company over that evening. And, uh, just thinking, you know, just getting to that point, just thinking of that woman <clears throat> picking up that little snub nose 38. Uh, I wonder how long, I wonder how long she held that gun to the side of her head before she pulled the trigger. Uh, she did things kind of impulsively. Maybe it was, maybe she picked up the fucking gun and just uh, without thinking, you know, put a bullet through her head. Uh, Lulu is not the person to uh, think things over. She would, uh, shall we say, act emotionally. Uh, without thinking things through. But anyway, I guess this land was not healing enough for her. Obviously, the healing land did not do what it needed to do for Lulu, but it has certainly made it a more healing place for me. So I think I've already weed whacked all I'm going to weed whack. And uh, I've got some guy coming over tomorrow. I'm probably just going to haul it off. It would take me six weeks to burn all this. And I don't want to put any more holes in uh, my damn screen room in my kitchen from the big fire. So I'm probably just going to haul this stuff off and uh, hopefully get some internet tomorrow. And uh, figure out what I'm doing with my life for five months. Come down and see me in the Point Lonesome Swamp. This is your last chance to, uh, your last chance this year. Don't put it off till next year because I will not be here next year, but it is absolutely gorgeous down here as long as you do not require a flush toilet or a hot shower and perhaps not require internet and cell phone coverage. Uh, come down and see me. I would aim for a full moon. I'm going to get back and enjoy this outrageous full moon. My gosh.